The most common type of resource that you'll be adding to your Moodle course is likely the uh, file resource. Um, and this is basically any document you want to add to your Moodle site. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that editing is turned on by clicking on the Turn Editing button on in the upper right hand corner. And then I'm going to uh, scroll down and to, to, uh, add my first resource. So if I scroll down I can see Add an Activity or Resource. And as I scroll down to the resources available, I'm going to select the file resource. Click the Add button. And this is where I'm going to go ahead and determine what file I want to add. You'll notice that everything that has a red asterisk is required to um, add to my site. So I'm going to go ahead and add my course syllabus. And you notice I have a couple different ways that I can add files. One is by clicking the Add um, button link here in the uh, content sections, or I can just drag and drop files. That's the method I prefer, and so I'm going to go ahead and do so. Here's my course syllabus. I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop it onto the file upload. It will take a second. I should see a preview of the uh, file type, so it's a PDF file. And um, that's all I really need to do. There are some other settings that I can do in terms of um, some very specific ways of displaying it. But in most cases, I just leave uh, the generic settings um, as automatic. And then I go ahead and save and return to course. Um, once my students log in, uh, they're going to see uh, this a little bit differently uh, than the teacher mode. So I'm going to switch to a different browser that has a generic student logged in right now. And when I go ahead and select the syllabus as a student, um, I'll see that it says click the syllabus.pdf link to view the file. And it will show me the description that um, I put in for this file. So if I go ahead and uh, select this, um, the browser is automatically going to choose the best method for displaying this content. So in this case, it's going to open this document as an attachment. And there it is. That's all there is to it in terms of uploading a file type, uh, a file resource to your Moodle course.